we praise Allah and we seek His forgiveness and we take this opportunity to send upon our Prophet the salutations. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome to Muslim Council of Hong Kong's Ramadan Reminders 2024. We continue with reflecting upon Allah's beautiful names, Al Wadud. Uh, Al Wadud means the most loving, the most affectionate, the most beloved. Allah is Al Wadud. The most loving and affectionate is Allah. He is faithful to his servants and shows them the purest love. He is the singular source of all love and kindness. The one who loves his believing servants and his believing servants adore him. Now that is Allah. So Al Wadud is one of the most beautiful names that Allah has chosen for himself to express his concern, his affection, and his lovingness towards his creations. The root word is wadada, which has the following classical Arabic connotations. To love, to be affectionate, to long for, to desire, to wish for. The one who should be loved and whose friendship is to be earned. As the Quran explains in Surah 11, verse 90, as Allah says, وَاسْتَغْفِرُوا رَبَّكُمْ ثُمَّ تُوبُوا إِلَيْهِ إِنَّ رَبِّي رَحِيمٌ وَدُودٌ And ask forgiveness of your Lord, and then repent to Him. Indeed, my Lord is merciful and affectionate. In another chapter, chapter 85 and verse 14, Allah tells us, وَهُوَ الْغَفُورُ الْوَدُودِ and he is the forgiving, the affectionate. Now, if we look at these two chapters and these verses, we see that these two ayahs are pairing of the names with Ar-Rahim, the most merciful, and Al-Ghafoor, the of forgiving. All forgiving with Al-Wadud, Allah, love for all his creation is unshakable. Let me repeat that again. Allah's love for all his creation is unshakable. Allah's forgiveness is full. When he forgives, he does not require anything in return. We learn from these two ayahs that we are always able to receive Allah's affection. Allah does not like to see his servants punished. Rather, he loves to forgive and he loves those he forgave. So remember that Allah not only forgive, love to forgive, but he also love those who he has forgiven. Many of the lessons from the 99 names of Allah are a reminder of characteristics we know we should live up to. In other words, we should avoid just intellectualizing them or studying these names and attributes for the sake of academical you know, progression. Take time to reflect on each one and really find a way to integrate, uh, integrate these qualities into your life. Now, this is the essence of Allah explaining his names to us. It's not for us to only know them on a technical side, but also to attach ourselves emotionally and religiously to all the names that Allah expresses of himself to us through his prophet and through the revelation from him from the heavens now the believer benefits from knowing that allah al wadud we recognize that we have a lord who is all loving caring compassionate there is not a single person on earth who's who's beyond receiving his love or forgiveness it is a name that should inspire hope in the believer and quiet your concerns or doubts Knowing that Allah loves us should encourage us to do more of the things that are beloved to Allah. In a narration narrated by Abu Hurairah anhu, who reported that Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, when Allah loves a servant, he calls Jibreel and says, Verily I have 
love so and so you should also love him and jibril alayhi salam begin to love him then he jibril alayhi salam makes an announcement in the heavens saying allah loves so and so and you also love him and then the inhabitants of the heavens that are the angels also begin to love him and then there is conferred honor upon him in the earth and when allah is angry with any servant he calls jibril alayhi salam and says i am angry with such and such and you also become angry with him and then jibril alayhi salam also becomes angry and then makes an announcement amongst the inhabitants of heaven these are the angels verily allah is angry with so and so so you also become angry with him and thus they also become angry with him then he becomes the object of wrath or curse on the earth also this is recorded in sahih muslim uh, hadith 2637a that's all for me i hope we materialize and put into our practice during this ramadan by asking allah to facilitate us in understanding the names and attributes of allah much deeper than what we apparently see every day may allah facilitate us and make us of those who call upon allah for our needs using those names and attributes that best befits what your requirements are for example if you're asking for rizq address allah by calling him ya razzaq right so may allah facilitate that for all of us and may allah make this ramadan a fruitful one for all of us with this i conclude jazakallahu khair for watching like share and subscribe and make sure to watch tomorrow's episode assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh